Hello everyone, this is Travis Bates from MLC CAD Systems here to provide you with some guidance and tips for using 3D Sprint software from 3D Systems. 3D Sprint is a shared desktop and cloud solution that is offered with all MJP printers from 3D Systems. In this video, we will go over the basic features and layout of the software as well as some tips on preparing and sending your model to the printer. I would like to start by going over the layout of the user interface. At the top of the screen, you have your three main modules, Prepare, Print, and queue. Directly below that is your toolbar where you'll find everything you need to prepare your model for printing. Below the toolbar on the left side you will find your parts list and your properties panel. This is where you will find a list of all the current parts you have loaded in the software as well as some basic properties of those parts. Above the toolbar in the upper left corner you will find your preferences, help, and feedback buttons. In the center of the screen you will find your print platform viewport. This viewport displays a 3D representation of the parts and the print platform. Now that we are familiar with the user interface, let's go over setting or changing your preferences. You can change or set your preferences at any time by clicking on the preferences button in the upper right corner. In this menu, you can set your preferences for your startup tab, your default language, your default display units, as well as the resolution of those units and you can automatically check for updates on launch. It is recommended that this is always turned on as 3D Systems is constantly trying to improve their software. Under the files tab you have options to turn on or off the automatic mesh repair. What this will do is it will automatically check your mesh for any defects and fix them when the part is loaded. You can turn on or off your auto place when print setup. This will automatically place your part where the software deems most efficient. You can run a minimum quality check on your part and this will check your part for quality right before it's printed. And you can also change your default unit for unitless files here. Under the printers tab they have a list of all the virtual printers offered by 3D Systems. You can simply turn on or off a virtual printer that you would like to see in your list by simply clicking the eye icon next to the printer's name. Now that you have your preference and set, it's time to prepare your model for printing. On the far left side of the toolbar, you will find the printer button. This is where you would go to find out which printer you are currently connected to or to find a new printer to connect to that is on your network. To find a new printer, you simply click the Find Printer button or type in the IP address of the printer you wish to connect to. The bottom section of this print screen shows all the virtual printers that you set in your preferences. These printers can be used to prepare your model for printing when you are either off-site or not connected to your network. However, keep in mind that you will not be able to send these files to your printer using a virtual printer. The tabs to the right are where you would select your material, print mode, and build style. Keep in mind that each printer has their own material, print mode, and build styles which may not be available to your current printer. Now that we have set up and connected to our printer, it is time to import or open a file we wish to print. There are several different file types that are supported for importing. This table shows a list of all the current accepted file types. To import a file, simply go to the file tab on the toolbar and select import. We now have several different options to modify or manipulate our model in order to prepare it for printing. We can scale it by units and easily switch from millimeters to inches and vice versa. We can use the triangle reduction tool to reduce the number of triangles in our mesh. We can use the measuring tool to measure certain distances between edges or angles or radiuses. We can move, rotate, or scale our part using our transform tool here. There are a couple different ways to move and rotate your part. You can manually move it with the mouse or you can simply type in the coordinates that you would wish to move to. For the scaling option, we can scale about an absolute scale or we can scale about our incremental scale. We can use our mirror tool to mirror our object about a selected plane. We can use our offset tool to either hollow a surface, offset a surface, or thicken a thin surface.
If you wanted to view that, you could simply go to the upper right of the toolbar and click on view. Here you have several different options. Uh, you can zoom. You can select a certain shading and you would like to see. You can select whether you want to see textures or colors. You have your standard isometric front, left, right, bottom, and back views, as well as your clipping features in your certain planes. Another very helpful tool in our prepare module is the fix tool. This tool will automatically fix your part if it has any defects such as bad edges, open boundaries, flipped faces, duplicated faces, small components, or self-intersections. This is very useful if you downloaded somebody else's model that might have some defects or maybe created your own model that had some defects. Once you're satisfied with your model in the prepare module, you can easily switch your model between modules by simply selecting your model and going to the bottom right of your screen and clicking add to print. You can easily switch between all three modules using this method. In our print module here we have several different options to continue editing and fully optimizing our part for printing. Some of which are very similar or the same as our prepare screen such as scaling by units, measuring, copying, transforming, mirroring, and splitting. However, there are a couple different features in this module that help you optimize your print. For instance, you have a quality check that will automatically check your model's quality for printing. You have the orient tool, which you can either manually or automatically orient your part to based on your print. To manually orient your part, simply select manual and select a fade. You can use the auto place tool, which will automatically place your part where the software deems most efficient. You can also create holes in your model by using the hole tool. Simply select the model you would wish to create your holes. You would define a distance. You would place the holes where you would wish. And then adjust the hole diameter as needed. You can also create and fill. There's a couple different methods to create the info. You can use the offset method, which will create an info by an inward offset, or you can create a lattice info. The third option in the info tool is a vent drain. This is useful if you have a hollow part, as you would need a vent drain in order to get all the wax out of the center of your part. Another useful tip when preparing your models for printing is the ability to stack your models in the Z and this is very useful if you're just fighting for space on your bed. You can simply add a second model that you would wish and then use the transform tool to add a Z increment. Once your model is completely prepared and ready for printing, you can simply add the part to the cube by selecting the part that you would wish to print and going to the bottom right of the screen and selecting add to cube. At this point, it will perform a quality check, making sure your, your model is printable. And then we'll ask you to save your job to the cube. I would also like to make note of this object on the very far right of your view platform. This object right here is called the verification strip. This is printed every time and it cannot be edited, changed, or manipulated. This part is very useful in diagnosing how well your printer is printing. If there is any print quality issues that you are seeing, it is useful to remove this strip, take a picture, and send it to 3D printer support at mlc-cat.com. You can add several different jobs to your queue and have them all lined up and ready to go. You can 
change the order of these jobs based on priority. You can move a job up or down. And you can move it to the top. You can also delete a job that is no longer necessary. You can also add a job from a previous file that you used and saved. This is also where you would find details about the printed jobs, such as the material used, the print mode used, the sender, the print time, when it was started, when it was ended, and so on and so forth. Another useful tool in the print module is the printer tools button. This is where you would go if you would like to check your printer settings, check for software updates, and install the software updates. You can check your material levels. You can save the log files of your printer, which is very important when contacting support. And you can also generate a build report for your build. Lastly, I would like to provide you with a list of keyboard shortcuts and mouse movements to make you an efficient 3D Sprint user. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to contact MLC CAD Systems at 3dprintersupport at mlc-cad.com.